Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to this in the morning. Welcome, welcome back to another video. And yes, welcome to this afternoon, to this good afternoon, good morning, and good night, wherever you may be watching this video. And I appreciate you for watching. You could be anywhere else, but you're here with me, and I appreciate you very much. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you already hit that like button, thank you for hitting the like button. If you're not, please subscribe. We get to 400 subscribers, we are giving a giveaway. So, you know, just want to throw that out there, you know, make everything known to everybody, to the newcomers and everything like that. Yes, we are doing a giveaway at 400 subscribers, which is not that far from here. We almost there. We just got to get in that extra push towards, you know, getting everything done like we're supposed to and everything. So other than that, I have a gaming channel also that's in the, the description down below. Make sure you, you know, subscribe to that. Oh, I mean, I have some people that were following me on, you know, on this channel for gaming, but I'm moving it, shifting it over to a different channel, you know, separating it and everything, you know, making everything up to YouTube standards, you know, and everything. So other than that, nothing less, we're going to jump right into this video. I'm not even going to waste it. Because right now, this seems like it's an interesting video from Epic Fighting again. And we have Chisel Donis doing the commentary on it. It said, One Armed Fighter versus Tattooed Bald Man. And his little bro. Oh my God. Another handicap match, man. Come on. We just seen one with two fat people. I guess that's the MO or whatever. Not unless it's a fatal three way or something like that or whatever. But. We shall see. Well, we're gonna jump right into this right now. Alright, so boom. We're once again in epic fighting chat. Once again. Wait, not nah. Oh hell no. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. No, Man's man. Got one arm and a nub. Why is he stepping Two into the arm. octagon? I can't This is like borderline getting close to the whole to the whole midget versus dwarf video that i that i did a couple of days back just getting close to that oh my god what are people doing and if you haven't seen that video go back and check that video that video i i try to contain myself from that one i couldn't it, it, oh my god that video is something else but this is getting close to that he already coming out with it with a nub and one arm i guess he Nah, they should be picking anybody to go in the ring, I guess. Can't do this no more. Listen, I'm all for overcoming adversity and fighting for your dreams, but is I this know, man right? a pirate? Is he blackhead shanks? You got one and a half arms. What you fighting for? You have to fight your whole life. Some might have drawn the line at Ukraine, but Russia's taking it too far now. And his Come opponent, on, some confused kid. Whoa, it's a tag. No, it's a handicap match. Who booked this? Really? You can't put the handicap. In a handicap match, that's not I know, what the right? match is supposed to be, despite the definition of the word. If there's anything I learned with this promotion, never judge a book by its cover. But come on, man. But hold on, what's going on with Buddy's stomach? He had a C-section or something? Man, this don't even feel right. Nevertheless, feel we've got right. a handicap match. A Make-A-Wish kid and his bald caretaker versus black-haired Shanks. Really? Okay, she Asian. Out there in Russia. Let the games begin. Round okay. Four. Here we go. Oh, wow. 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 I know, right? Nah. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's exactly the reaction I've got to. I was like, Oh, really? Like, he's down like that? And he's holding his face like, he didn't kick me in the face. You in the octagon, fool. Like, what do you expect supposed to happen? You supposed to be kissing his feet? Nah, he gonna... Just because he had one arm don't mean he know how to use his feet. And that's the thing about the octagon and MMA. You can use your feet. Wow. Can you see? Homie is concussed. He can't even finish the fight. Really? We only four seconds in, and the one-armed man KO'd Dang. somebody. Been eliminated. Tell me I did 
did not just see that. I'm standing wow. up right now. I'm befuddled, flummoxed, flabbergasted. He KO'd he this man in four seconds. I was so focused on his lack of arms, I never considered the lethality of his leg. Look at homie face. I he thought about it, but I ain't think, I I ain't think he was going to sit up there and use it that quick. Because I'm absolutely astonished. He got TKO'd in the same amount of time it takes to take a deep breath by a man with one fully functioning arm. That might just be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're going to continue the know, fight right? as a fair one. At this point, unless that balding caretaker can shoot a key blast wave straight out of Dragon Ball Z, there is no way his confidence levels have not waved. Wow. Had that been my moves. teammate who got slept like that, I would have been looking like John Cena after Shawn Michaels' sweet chin music Triple H at Survivor Series 2009. <laughs> 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 Oh, yo. Yeah. Nevertheless, the two men would continue to do battle. And given the oh, strength snap. of the leg kicks of the one-armed man, is it too far-fetched to assume that there's power in that half-arm? Is it wrong to assume that this man is probably Piccolo and can extend that nub into another hand at any moment? I'd say it's safe to assume the outcome of this fight has now changed because given the elimination of I the know, right? Make-A-Wish kid, his balding guardian caretaker would have to win by knockout or unanimous decision. Come here. Oh, Ooh, Lord, he, got he that just chin. chased him with his good hand. If this man KOs both his opponents, I might just eat my laptop. Hold on. Did I just see what I think I saw? He, he dodged up. the left hand but returned fire with a left hook on the arm that doesn't have wow. a hand. Well, this is a fight I've never experienced in my life. Ooh. There's no doubt. I thought he connected with that nub. Forearm and fist that we can't see. Clearly, homie is trained in how to throw his nub. His nub. But I digress. Let's get back to the regular action. Left hand connects. Come here. Unguarded. Okay, Baldy. Well, I'll be damned. We got ourselves a fight. Time. End of round one. Throughout no, right. covering this promotion, we've seen countless no. intergender matches, an absurd amount of interferences. But for my money, I have never experienced a first round like this. My jaw was dropped for about 17 minutes I know, after he right. knocked out that dude. Look how confused this man is. He's so he out confused. here looking like the human representation of Misty Psyduck. He might start putting his underwear on as a t-shirt, <laughs> wearing his Psyduck briefs like as that, a yo. tank top. Put him on the right way, stupid! And now a word uh. from our sponsor. Sponsors. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global leader Manscaped. in grooming tools and hygiene solutions. Manscaped I gotta give me some more of that stuff. Collection of anti-chafing, high-performance boxer got briefs the, with both got the boxer and briefs. fashion and more. I might give me some. Six color combinations to choose from. Soon. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Mm, the good big girl. <laughs> Joy, a yummy treat and oh, yeah. dinosaur toy from Jurassic World Dominion. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm going to see it soon. Travel experiences at getyourguide.com. All right. Round two. Fight. Let's see what's going to happen. Come on! Wow, bro. Why are you running? Why are you running? Here we go. Second and final round between mm -hmm. the one armed man and the bald caretaker. You do well. <laughs> you do well. What? Do something, you little bitch. Oh, he about to get mad I gotta now. Give credit where credit is due. Despite that, both are canceling each other out. I can't help but imagine what Blackhead Shanks would have been like if he had full function of his left arm. Then again, he does have full function of the arm. He just don't got the whole arm. That makes me wonder how he lost it, or was he ever even born with it? Whatever the case may be, the final 10 seconds of the second round would result in a stalemate, as both men would exchange right hands and the time would expire. Time. And you can say what you want about that one-armed dude being at a disadvantage, but he had some good technique. If there's a mixed martial arts promotion out there that's solely advertised with fighters who only have wow. one arm, I'd like to see this man fighting in there. Because he yeah. could knock somebody out with his leg, all while boxing another man with his good arm. Baldy was no slouch either, but let's sever his left arm so they can fight on the same playing field. Hey, Craig, get my chainsaw. Is it this arm, boss? Please don't touch me. Well, what do you know? They shoved enough smelling salt up the nostrils of the Make-A-Wish kid to get him to step back into the ring and your winner by unanimous decision the one-armed black-haired Shanks
This is a crazy ass promotion. What the hell will Kingpin think of next? Go get him. Fucking kick. Hitmon Lee. Finish him. I know. He kicked right up in him. Snake, are you okay? Snake. Snake. Wow. That shows who right there. Like you don't necessarily need both your hands or both your arms or anything like that in order to make it in whatever you know your dream may be or whatever you know the situation may be you still can overcome you know overcome and over conquer you know and conquer over everything else no matter what the given situation is so yes wow other than that if you are new Please subscribe to the channel. We are doing a giveaway at 400. Hopefully, we'll see you there at the giveaway. And make sure you are a subscriber. If you're not, I will be checking. And, you know, make sure you have, you know, subscribe. Have the notification bell on. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. If you already like the video, thank you. I mean, I'm open for comments as well so you know oh any suggestions put them please put them in the comment section i forget, keep forgetting to say that i have one guy that actually put a um i think put like one or two suggestions in the comment section you know feel free to do that you know so, you know give me some ideas to go you know react with some other videos and stuff like that you know never hurts to do that you know i'm open you know i'm open here for you know anybody you know to share any type of information or insight or anything so other than that the end of the video and i will see you in the next one um in december either not december um i will see you in no not november um damn i'm getting my days all mixed up i ain't even getting my days mixed up i will see you in the next video in the morning, afternoon, and evening. There we go. God, no. Tripping. But yes, see you in the next evening, morning, and afternoon video. You know, keep it locked and all that good stuff. Then you have a nice day. Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to this in the morning. I you know I came in there floss and I'm actually awesome. I can't let them get in my way. This grand is full like the Apri and Meyer. The sauces, I need to go get them a praise. You know I'm straight up to 10, spinning like.